humans should put Mark Passio aside from the workings of natural law and look at the work objectively for what it is. Any time the subject of natural law is mentioned, or for when I speak of such, this is regardless of Mark, as he simply helped enhance my perspective on the world as all people do for one another in this life. He is not the role model for none shall be, however, there is also nothing wrong with a little bit of inspiration from shared wisdom or aspiring forms of delivery, if it helps among one's own path. Indeed, there is a variance of delivery from Mark upon the subject matter, and one should give time devotion to care for his words in perspective as any human being should for one another. Mark, however, just as any human, takes away the true essence that is truth, because no human being can ever fully be of the truth. Mark knows his faults and how people will criticize him. It is thus also his own demise. No one should ever be dependent upon making amends, nor should they be dependent on teaching any aspect of life. One should be able to love with contentment, free from all mental barriers including that of the burden of criticism and self-doubt. This is why so many have partaken in the effort to share natural law, it is a human effort. It contains a lot of knowledge in a wide range of application, hence the confusion that lives mostly upon delivery. The root to this matter is understanding statism, morality, or our basic human rights, because natural law simply teaches us that. And let us not get confused among Marx's other works, for that is of his own research, not necessarily of universal knowledge, although there may very well be connections that may also be perspective dependent. One is free to consume the knowledge he had looked into for many, many years with an open mind, realizing the amount of effort, but also personal struggles he may have faced in reflection of his delivery even to this day. But again, it is your job to focus on the knowledge, for he even makes this disclaimer upon starting his presentation on natural law, perhaps at a time of more stability in his life and in the world to bring upon a more calm delivery. For his anger, he knows of, and he has spoken of, even in presentations dedicated to the topic. Mark was never even solely responsible for, or the only one to ever speak and teach of natural law. Nor was Chris Nelson, John Locke, Thomas Aquinas, Judge Napolitano, Mana of Creation, Lawrence Wasson, Brennan Bonanza, Mason Gleason, Larkin Rose, myself, or any of the many rather great content creators putting out thought-provoking content upon the subject. The concepts have ties going back very far in time, but simply relevant to that of common sense observation, if it's indeed cause and effect to the knowledge of some of the macrocosmic and microcosmic events, with macrocosmic being harder to grasp or taking more time to digest, macrocosmic including the mass effect of statism and denaturing. Hence, upon the advanced page on Nidadat 1, it is not just Mark's work of natural law referenced, it is also Larkin Rose and his more common sense based approach. Such also may bring us to the topic in the use of Freemasonic images among Mark's work. It is always best for Mark to speak for himself, however the symbols he has used are ancient symbols bringing to light the figurative good or light side of Freemasonry. I refrain from using such symbols due to my appeal with folks who are to learn from the knowledge, but don't let his use of symbols turn you down from the knowledge at hand, and observe how and why he uses those symbols, as we do know the polarity and esoteric concepts present within nature. Art is common upon human expression, for if one is not to create a new form, such as that of the logo of Nita or its encouraged works upon the similar message, one will resort to symbols existent and past used, perhaps also finding meaning through the history, personal reflection, and original creator's intention. Folks use symbols on a daily basis, not realizing how much they are at use. However, it is as simple as a facial expression habitual gesture, tattoo, writing, or style of doing something. Symbols are of art, creative human expression, free for humans to support to their free will, 
and I've spoken much about the importance and creativity. There are cases where I'm sure Mark, through use of these symbols, has also helped people see the good perspective in Freemasonry elements, or has helped Freemasonic members awaken to different ideas. It's not all doom and gloom, it depends on how you look at it. Again, it's not of my personal preference, but as Mark even says, if you don't like hearing it from him, you do better and show how you do it. I agree. Finally, a hot topic within the natural law community is the idea of veganism. And even Larkin Rose and myself will not stand where Mark Passio stands on this topic because this is not explicit for good reason by natural law, and natural law positive expression is not limited to veganism. You may make the same case for statism, but the problem is there is no exception for statism and how it manifests in the world. For veganism, we are talking about manifesting a state in the body, not the world, but then questioning if that should apply to everybody within the world. Again, one should not be turned off by way of delivery, as Mark is actually correct by way of natural law morality and animal rights on the topic of veganism. But again, how you take that information and act upon it is a different story. It relies on many factors, to where we would not want to harm ourselves either. Mark is aware of this to some great extent, I'm sure, as he states to transition slowly. However, health is not as simple as transitioning to veganism, just as healing the world is not as simple as transitioning to a stateless society. There are more steps in between, and for some, even upon reaching a destination, they are still in some sort of state and they are not all vegan. To understand this is to understand the infinite potential and ability within nature, for which I ask you to open your mind here as I explain. Humans in the wild, surrounded by plants and animals, they'll eat both in many different ways across different cultures. In a stateless society, such occurs and plants are of the natural emphasis, even if that means plants for the livestock. It is the natural diet to do what is best for your body, that of which is most natural. It is what does little harm to all, including thyself. Food is nourishment. It all comes down to survival and optimization of ability. Veganism and carnism are both dangerous, although they can be greatly helpful. The extreme paradox in health that my future works will detail in multiple depictions. The truth is, talking about veganism is pointless and counterintuitive. Talking about more plant-based or natural eating is more holistic and encourages greater use of the natural law positive expression through love and knowledge in freedom from all ism religions including veganism and carnism, to freedom for order hence an internal monarchy and health away from ailments as one is listening to their body while optimizing their environments, i.e. reducing harm in approaching the topic of health with care not the simple word veganism and pushing for the one-way street in a world of too many factors. These factors include race, gender, age, environment, cultures, uh, goals, processing, religion, raising, influences, types of food, digestion, body type, blood type, transitions, nutrition, diets inside diets, fasting, breathing, exercise, spirituality, career, relationships, organic, exportation, grains, roadkill, insect life, ancestry, arctic conditions, survival, third world populations, animals converting dead matter, beings in nature, propaganda, greater mental capacity, sustainability, self-harm, local, additives, paleolithic, keto, blue zones, and an experimental or discovery mindset. The key to health on the macrocosm is eliminating statism. Hence, that should be the focus, not veganism or carnism. Integrative nutrition teaches us all ways of life for the body, alike what the natural law does in the world. Then there becomes more family farms and growers, more quality, more plants, then hence more animals, but more emphasis on plants due to that dependency. Humans may live life simply with the greatest manifestation of harm eliminated. It is not carnism, it is statism. So in short, veganism is not bad and does create less harm. Therefore, more high quality plant-based eating is encouraged through way of adding in to crowd out alike healing the world. But veganism itself 
is incomplete without those disclaimers and personal reflection work through journaling and coaching. Again, it is one to know of a solution, another to know how to put it into practice. It must be noted that humans are all over the place. We can criticize anyone and everyone and love them all at the same time. That is how it works. Consensus is truly possible. We must simply find a way to become open to it, mutually in effort. Echo chambers and feedback loops are to be avoided as in any community. But I'll tell you this, I sure do love the natural law community. Great people with great passion who see the value in the work. And Mark has done his contribution, for sure. If you look at the amount of understanding behind his structured works, and his team in Philadelphia is no more than around five beautiful, hearted people who like to volunteer and do their best for the production, as there is barely any income coming in to sustain in these efforts for knowledge, folks would be surprised. Nobody is perfect. Nobody knows it all. Nobody is to know it all. Don't get so fixated. Don't get so stuck. Don't make assumptions, hence open to the whole, the all. To conclude, let us continuously boost our efforts, our voices and presence in all ways we can, to simply be human, to simply uphold nature. Indeed, not to introduce anything new, to rather stand in defense for what is already here, always has been and what is all around us. Remember that nature is the answer, the message as mission as movement, the movement you make. To crowd out manifested problems through way of education, of natural law, and elements thereof, through way of representation, demonstration, and presentation, or the many strategies I have spoken of. As a genuine movement grows, it will become intensely overwhelming as to the pressures and drama and attention it will bring. This is cast away with fun and nature, with free wild spirit at no end. So do, so be, so love, so see. Feel free to check out the must-have dictionary for all terms natural law and nature is the answer, as well as a sheet with 310 action steps all in the description. Also, be sure to follow my work on Twitch as well as the associated YouTube for it so we can get these ideas out to the public scene. Thank you, enjoy life, and do your best to manifest life.